So a couple days ago, this bishop in Brooklyn got robbed for like over a million dollars, and you know what? I think he deserved it. Who was a million dollars worth of jewelry to church? Second of all, where did he get all this money to buy all this jewelry and a Louis Vuitton suit and a 400k Rolls Royce? Like, shouldn't you be using those donations? to like actually fix up your church or help people in your community. These church goers barely make over four or five figures. So him spending all that donation money on himself instead of helping other people just rubs me the wrong way. And it turns out a lot of people feel this way too. And on top of that, this nigga has a real criminal history, especially when it comes to money. A lot of people on TikTok are pointing to the fact that it might be an insurance scam, which when you look at his history, kinda makes sense. Seriously, have y'all looked into this bishop's history? He was literally arrested in 2006 for a $2 million identity theft scam. He did five years in prison for 10 counts of identity theft. Then in 2015, was arrested for hitting his son, allegedly, and violating an order of protection. Those two were months apart. Now getting into the scam, in 2016 he was spotted in a Maserati and a Bentley, Ugh, despite having an outstanding court judgment of a quarter of a million dollars from 2009 in which he didn't repay a loan. Then just one year after he was released, he started the Leaders of Tomorrow Brooklyn, a for-profit firm that was billed as a youth mentor nonprofit. Yeah, sounds legit. Dang it, there's too much, I gotta do a part two. Anyways, that's all for today, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.